periods we only got to here. Um, we counted the bottom by um, fives. Now for the the amount earned, this is when you divide these right here, the one that just moved right here, you round it up to um, you need to round it up to ten to count. Okay. So you're counting, um, I'll change the color. You're counting right there by 10. So um, zero, oops, let's make that back. Um, oh, shoot. Um, okay, we're gonna count by 10. So zero, 10, make this smaller, okay. And all the way up to 100 because our um, highest number here is 93. So 10, 20. Okay. Some students type it on here 30, 40, 50, 60. 70, 80, 90, and then 100, right? Our largest number is 93, so that includes that. So let's bring it on over for each little line that rep it represents. Um, saw a student. Oscar did this, so I go, that's brilliant. I'll do the same. Type it all out first, then move it over. Now you graph them. Um, you would graph 0 and 75 here. And 0, 75 is right there. Okay, you take those two numbers right in the middle right there. And then 19, take this 19. And then 83.5 right there is the one I just circle. 19 is right here. You go up to 83, which is about right there. Okay, so close, so close. And then take the eraser. I know it's, oops, undo. Um, get it, oh, and my eraser is huge. That's why. Make it smaller so I can get only the lines. And then um, the next one is 40. When I circle here, 40, 93, 40 houses. 40 houses is down here up to 93, which is up here. Okay, and then use the line button and connect the dots. If you want it super neat, just erase this right there like that. So there you go. And then the next one here, it says at the beginning of the golf season, Kyle buys 200 85 golf balls. He loses, so if he loses, it's a minus three. My, he loses three balls each time. Each means times. So each time he plays, so each time he plays. That's important. So that expression is 285 plus minus 3x, 3t. Um, equals to, well, let me make this bigger, not that big, huh? Um, this big equals to, write an equation that represents the number of golf balls Kyle has left. So equals to, let's say G here. C represent, T represents um, the number of time he plays. We'll just abbreviate the phrases. Um, and then G represents the golf balls that's left. We'll just put golf ball. Okay, G's for golf balls. So on this chart, time, number of time he plays is the independent variable that goes here. So um, number time plays golf, basically. Let's size it smaller to fit. Make it red so we can see it better. And then the golf ball is a dependent variable that's left. So um, 
golf ball. Okay, let's move it over there. Okay, so first he's he's never played, didn't play golf, zero. Okay, let's put a line through here. Zero game of golf. Okay, so zero time is that zero goes into this spot right here. Okay. Um, the zero goes there, right there. So three, so you got 285 minus three times zero equals to the golf balls that's left, right? Let's make that smaller, which we're striving to find to put our answer here equals to G, the golf ball. And maybe a little bit smaller, right? And then if we do that on your calculator, you get 285 golf balls that's left. Okay, um, and your ordered pair is 0, 285, right? And then um, 150, so that 150, um, probably goes into 150 stand represents the golf ball right here right so it goes under G so you got this problem here let's get rid of this zero for the other problem you got this problem um, right there so let's type that out here 285 minus 3 T equals to 150 Okay, in some classes I put, um, actually I put the problem here like that, right? And then we solve it, same thing, or if you leave the problem here, it doesn't matter how you do it. Mm. And then you would minus, this is additive inverse, remember this is additive inverse, that's a plus negative three, right? So you subtract um, 285 to both sides. Okay, subtract 285, and you get 100 and, mm, let's see what that is, uh, 135, yep, you get 100, negative 135. So you get negative 3t equals to negative 135. And then the next thing, last thing you do is divide by a negative 3. Divide by a negative 3 to both sides. Okay. Right there. And 2 negative is a positive, and you can use Google Calculator. That's Google Calculator. Right there we go. Um, negative 135 divided by a negative, what number is that? Three. Divided by negative three equals to 45 positive. So your answer, how many, got, how many times did he play? He played 45 times. So that 45 goes into this box, right? So the ordered pair here is 45 and 150. Maybe that's an easier way for you guys to see. Um, 45 comma 150 comma. Okay, let's shrink it. Right there, so that's your ordered pair. That's important for the next page. All right. Um, Next one is 95. Okay, that 95, um, that 95 goes into golf um, number of times played because, or the letter T, because it's right there, number of times played, so it goes here. So you got 285 minus three times 95, okay. Um, get that and it equals to the golf balls you got. Okay, so 3 times 95 
um, is equal to 285. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's 285. Well, 285 minus 285 is, of course, zero golf balls left. So after he plays 95 golf games, he'll have zero golf balls left. That's zero there. So your answer here is 95 and zero. So on the next page, you're to graph all of this. So, um... Let's go to the next page. It asks you to graph all of this. Okay, so you need a, your independent variable and the dependent variable. So let's go what, see what x and y meaning is. So number of times played, let's copy that. And go ahead to the next slide, is under the x value. So that's number of times played. Okay, right here, that's your x value. And then the other one, um, number of golf balls, not the golf balls that are left. Okay, you take that and that's your Y coordinate. Um, and turn it. Oh, turn it the other way, I think. That's the golf ball right there. Oh, how come it got so big? You need to size it down, right? Okay, and I add it in red. Okay. Um, number of times played, number of golf balls. I guess we can size it a little bit bigger, but it won't go. Okay, anyways. Um, and then your ordered pair for, oh, sorry. Um, your first ordered pair was, okay. The largest golf ball was 285. So the Y, the largest one, is 285 for the golf ball. So let's look at this. Here are your, look at that. Um, anyways, for the golf balls, the largest one is 285. We have to divide that by the 15 boxes that are here, that are there. If you count the boxes on, here's one, okay. Um, what I mean is one, two, three, four, five, six, you count all the way up to here, there are 15 of them, okay? 15 of them. So when you divide 285 by 15, divide it by 15, you get 19. Okay, so oh, shoot. you get 19. Um, so you, you, it's too hard to um, count by 19. Let's size this a lot smaller. Okay. Um, it's too hard to count by 19. So instead of counting by 19, um, we're going to count by 20. This equals to 19, right? So, so counting by 19, we round it up to, to 20. Round up. To 20 to count okay because we can count easily by 20 okay so that means um, this is zero we're doing golf balls right here if you look at this here we're doing golf balls right now the highest is 285 okay zero um, well, Okay, 20, right there, 40, sixty. Okay, I'm gonna just type it all here. Um, 60, 80, oh, not 60 again, 80, 100, and I need to go to um, past 285. Okay, so a long ways to go, 60, 80, 100, 120, we're counting by 20 now, 120, 140, 
160, 180, 285, so 300. Oh, we go all the way up to 300 golf balls. Okay, now let's look at um, the other one. I hope this doesn't mess up. And the highest number of time played is 95. Do you see this? This 95, the number of not played is right there, 95. Didn't mean to make it that big. So you go to here and you take that 95 okay you take the 95 and you divide it by the 15 boxes there are 15 boxes here okay so the 95 divided by 15 let's use calculator 95 divided by 15 boxes you get 6.33 right so um 6.33 um, round to 10. We're not counting by 6.3. We're rounding up to 10 to count. To count on our graph. We're only doing this to count. We're rounding up this much so we can count easily. Okay, I'm going to make this smaller. We're only rounding. This is 6.33 repeating. We're going to count by 10. So down here, we're counting by 10, making it smaller. I don't have to do every single one of them. I can go 10, stretch this out. 20, right? 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and I can stop at 100 because my biggest number is 105. I can stop at 100. Okay, so I'm going to take the coordinates of the other one here. The first one is 0. Um, I'm going to copy this here. 0 and um, 285 so I don't forget, right? Oh, no, don't go backwards. Um, the first coordinate is 0, 185, right? So 0, 185, find 0, go to, I mean 285. 285 is right there, somewhere there. Uh, probably closer to 280 than very close to 280, right? Somewhere there. Okay, my next one is, um, the next coordinate is this one here, 45. I'm going to copy that and take it over to the next one here and graph that 45 and 150 so 45 is in the middle here to 150 there's 140 150 is right there somewhere and then i'm going to erase that line it's just awful okay and then our last dot is let's see and that'll be our last thing we do is 95 and 0. so we're going to copy this so we don't forget because by the time i flip over i'm going to graph that next one oops 95 and 0. 95 and 0 is 95 and 0 is right there and then you take the lines and you connect the dots and notice it's nice and straight. We call that linear. Okay, and that's it. I think, oh, one more, I think, yeah. Most people in U.S. priority mail items to family. The shipping fee for U.S. Uh, priority mail includes $8 insurance fee. There's no fur per, so we just highlight eight. And, and means plus, $4 per ounce. 
perfect to write an equation that represents total cost. So let's start what we see here, $8, start with the, the $8 plus um, $4. Okay, let me make this bigger so you can see better. Oh wow, okay. Um, four and per, per means times, times the what? Times the ounce. I'm not going to use O because that's confusing. I can use Z. I can use whatever letter I want just as long as I define it. Ounce. So Z is the number of ounce. Ounces. Okay number of ounces, and write an equation, so that's an equal sign, after that, write an equation, right, equal, um, to find total cost, so T for total cost, the one I had, uh, excuse me, highlight in yellow, so as so long as you define what T is, T is total cost, okay, and I like to use C, for cost because T when you write it out it'll begin to look like a, a plus sign so we'll just put T for right now I guess um, I would use C though for cost but they always put dollar here parentheses dollar okay and then it says if you had nine pound a, a nine pound item how much would you pay to post office so you got the number nine you need to figure out where it goes Okay, under the Z or T. It says nine pounds, so which one is the pound? The Z. The Z represents the ounces. Nine pounds, you need to multiply this. Unfortunately, there are eight, eight, eight ounces in a pound, so you need to multiply this by eight ounces because the Z is ounces, so you get 72 ounces. So you use 72 ounces um, instead of 9. So you use 72. So put it in there. So your problem now is 8 plus 4 times 72 ounces. And then you get the total cost. So 4 times 72. Clear it. You always do multiplication first. I want to make sure it's set. okay. Awesome. Equal to 288. So this is 288. And then I have to add that to the 8. Okay, you get um, $296. So if you're shipping 9 pounds, you're going to pay $296. Four nine pound item. It's a lot of money. Okay, that's how you do that, and that's your homework.